It's Mac the Guru. This is my review on Power Book 2 Season 3, Episode 2, Need vs. Greed. If this your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that like button, and check out the other content. Now, I got to start at the end of this episode because I couldn't believe what Kane did, dog. Like, he got his father hustling for him, but he blackmailed him, too. And I don't really see how Lorenzo is going to get out of this situation. I don't see it at all. And what's crazy is I knew somebody was going to be able to put it together. It was obvious that he had paid that dude to knock out Drew and beat up Drew. And he was trying to get out of the situation that he put himself in by knocking off Z. It was like obvious. Kane put it all together. I mean, he he tied up all the pieces to that puzzle and then blackmailed him. So going forward, we're going to see this guy that I thought was the big bad boss. Remember, in power, the original power, you had 50 Cent that was in jail starting off. Remember when 50 came out? He was the big bad boss in reality. Like, he didn't come out and, you know, just was like no little dude. He played the bad guy of the show, all that. Lorenzo, totally different. He didn't came out, lost all his power. He had more power when he was in jail. And what's crazy, he might end up going back there. Now, they also showed in this episode what happened to Lauren. I'm not going to lie. It was a little disappointing. It was a little let down. Just like how they put it together and how it happened. It's just some random guy walking with a dog that got her. You know, I'm thinking somebody swam in the water and pulled her out. And I'm thinking they about to show all that. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Just some random dude walking with his dog. Walking around. And then see a car in the lake and got her out. All right. So, but Lauren alive. And hopefully she gets to leave that house. I would hate if they have her in that house for like five episodes or something. Like, yo, let Lauren leave the house. Girl, go get you a turkey burger. Go get you something to eat or something. She got to get up out that house. And when she do, I bet she going to get right back with Tariq. I bet Tariq going to get right back with her pick up right where he left off. Remember, that's the one he really want. And it would be a good excuse for him to break it off with Effie. Diana about to be messing with this T.A. dude, right? So this is the one he really want. And you know she still got feelings for him because... The uh, cop, Jenny, she and her, she trying to tell Lauren, yo, we need to go after Tariq. Lauren like, uh, I don't think he had nothing to do with it. Sorry. So I can't wait for Tariq to find out that she alive. And what's crazy is Brayden want to tell Tariq. He listening to Effie, though. Effie like, no, don't tell him. Effie like, no, we going to take this to the grave. But if Brayden would just go with his first mind. And said something. He could have said something to him privately. That's what I would have did. Let me pull him to the side alone. You know. The only problem is. When you do that with people. A lot of times. They reaction. Be to go run and tell. Whatever they just promised they wouldn't tell. Like if you sit somebody down and be like. Hey. I got something to tell you. Let's just keep it between me and you. But I want you to know this. They gonna go. Okay. Let me know. Because they want to know. And then you tell them, and they go right to the person that um, you didn't want them to go back to. You know, so it happens all the time. But I would have still said something. It's better for him to know than not know and just see Lauren out somewhere. And there's so much lying going on anyway. I mean, I couldn't believe Brayden. Little sneaky self is the reason Tate didn't hire... uh, Tariq I'm like yo why he doing all that though like you get this man to lose his internship just so he could come work with you when that come out that's gonna be another thing that go against Brayden and mess up their relationship because best believe Tate Tate don't care either way so soon as Tate needs Tariq and Tariq act like Oh, man, you played me. Best believe Tate going to be like, hold on, partner. I ain't play you. 
your friend came by and paid me and said this something that'll really help you if I gave this opportunity to somebody else. You know how Tate gonna play it. Tate that <laughs> Tate don't care one way or the other. So it's gonna come out. All these things is gonna come out and it's gonna fall right on Braden's head. It's gonna mess up their relationship. And the craziest part is I think Braden, Effie, and Tariq, all of their relationship is gonna be a little broken by the end of the season, but they still going to be having to work together. And I'm probably going to make a prediction video, but I actually think Kane got a shot with Effie. I know. I know it don't look like it now, but I do. I just got a, a funny feeling he got a shot. You know, they do stuff like that. I also think Whitman got a shot with Jenny. I don't know if he got one with Rodriguez. You know, I don't know. You know, but I think he got one well with Jitty, you know, but uh, them different relationships that have come up more and more down the line. The only other two big things I got to discuss is Diana and Drew. You know, if it's anything else that y'all wanted me to touch on that I didn't put it in the comments, I'll make a, another side video specifically for that. But Diana has figured it out. She has seen the light. She now realizes Effie played her. Effie wanted Joe Dude, so she moves you out the way in a nice, friendly, polite manner. Remember Jordan, game six, when he hit the crossover, just gave her a little tap, moved her out the way real slow and easy, and then slid right up in there and hit the shot. You see what I'm saying? So now she got Tariq. Diana was able to see that. Going forward, watch how Diana play it. Because Diana ain't stupid. That's the one thing she not. She a very uh, thinking person. So she going to think this out and she going to play it right. But the last thing I'm going to touch on is Drew. <laughs> Boy, Drew is hilarious, man. Dog, how you get beat down like that? It was one person. This wasn't like a old buddy that just got jumped down there in Florida. Uh, uh, Takashi, this wasn't like that, you know what I mean, it's one person, <laughs> boy, you better know how to swing a duck or something, like, you let a dude just walk up on you, ask you a question, and just beat you down and spray paint your back, like, <laughs> see, <laughs> buddy need to start doing some push-ups, dog, like, really think about that, and it wasn't like it was like a shack size dude or no, you know, d lime and it. It's just a normal dude. It's just a normal guy walked up, normal size, beat Drew down real quick, laid him down, and then spray painted his back. I didn't know what was going to happen when he started. Listen, <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen when he started pulling up his shirt. And I'm like, yo, what are they doing? You know, I didn't know. I didn't know. But. I did know Lorenzo was behind that. I just felt it. Like, nah, that's Lorenzo. Just by looking at the dude that beat Drew down, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, just looking at him. And then, after this happened, Drew, you know, he all emotional. He ends up getting dumped. Like, oh, man. That part, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Drew's just having a horrible day. But then he takes it out on this dude. I don't know if that was the whole plan for him to just knock off the dude that's at Braden's job that was moving to work. He he just pushed him in the street. I'm like, yo, I don't know if that was the plan. Hey, and that dude need to be more vigilant. Like, dog, you don't supposed to you supposed to be able to see that. I know a lot of people be walking around with their headphones in and all that. You still gotta be vigilant and watch your surroundings, man. Shouldn't nobody be able to walk up and just push you. You see a car coming. You standing at the end, end of the street and somebody just push you over. You got to watch people when they walk by. You know, keep an eye on people, you know. But Drew knocked him off. And I think that was him taking out his frustration. You know, I don't know if they wanted him to go that far. You know, so. But it happened, man. But this was a, a, a cool episode. I liked a lot of stuff in it. You know, going forward. It's a lot of different relationships I think going to pop off that uh, a lot of people ain't going to be suspecting. I think uh, it's also going to be good to see Tariq 
mature more this season. You know, I'm already seeing it. <clears throat> it's been a few signs that I'm like, okay, yeah, he maturing. Just how he moving, you know. And him and Effie both sounded like they want to get out the game a little bit, didn't they? Effie like, yo, man, I'm doing this for a reason. And then when Tyreek was talking to Brayton and Effie, you know, he like, man, got to be smart about what he doing. Like, I like how he talking this season, you know. So, I'm looking forward to that, man. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Did anything surprise you that happened? Or is there anything that you wanted me to talk about that I didn't touch on, man? It's Matt the Guru. If you're still here and you ain't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Check out the Snowfall reviews. The Snowfall stuff going up for me. Then check out the uh, Godfather Harlem. You know, if you ain't watching that, man, whew, best thing smoking on TV. Best thing going, man. But as always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.